howdy. Um, back up at the parent load. Can't talk right now. Look at this old, uh, this old tractor. Still got the slurry all over it. Crazy, huh? So I'm back up at the uh, parent-in-law's property. I think I'm in focus. I got to use a manual focus right now because uh, the focus on this camera is really loud and it just never stops. So going in, going out, going in, going out. So different lens today. I want to do some uh, a little photography, I guess. <laughs> Try it out on video. <clears throat> It's really heavy though, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to be holding this thing up. Just going back down. It's a cold winter, blustery, windy day in the mountains. And uh, yeah, I'm just going up to check out some of the burn area. I'm just going to go walk through here. We're getting together for a, a mother-in-law's birthday, so... Yeah, fun times. Play some games. No video games, just uh, board games. <clears throat> I don't even have a television up here, which is not a bad thing. I don't recommend it to anybody. Yeah, this is amazing. Huh? Just the... Uh... <sighs> Definitely a campfire smell. And just how bleak it is. It's just uh, barren. Yeah. This is where it came in, burned through pretty hot. I'll show you. Yep. 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 This used to be a really pretty area. Now it's pretty parched. Yeah, it looks like we have a lot of interesting stuff to look forward to, doesn't it, in the upcoming days? <clears throat> At least that's how the, uh, the climate that they're creating. And, you know, everything is based on fear anymore. And uh, You know, like I said recently on a post, uh, Wolves are notorious for uh, exploiting the fear and uh, the herd mentality of the, you know, whatever game, whatever prey that they are stalking. Hearing something up there. Well, sounds like elk battling it out so yeah they want to herd people into groups you know they want to group everybody together <laughs> so that uh we're more easy to push that direction or this direction look at this tree I thought that was pretty cool went right through the right through the trunk of this one fire <sighs> so yeah don't be a sheeple like they say right <clears throat> um, the enemy of this global collectivist push right now is individualism and that's you know nothing's much has changed in the last several hundred years because it was the same battle that was fought during the reformation when martin luther and others uh, made a stand on thus saith the scripture 
you know, and it was up to their own private, personal walk with God and their own interpretation of Scripture, you know, hopefully guided by the Holy Spirit, which I think some of those men were, definitely. And that's what it came down to, and that's where the battle really began, was because, uh, you know, tyranny, like the church was back then, in the Middle Ages, Dark Ages, you can't have people, you know, thinking for themselves and acting on their own uh, initiatives, because that threatens their total stranglehold on power. And they're, you know, government's always a fearful master. <laughs> and information is power, and they realize that. They realize that uh, you have to, you have to reel in that information, which is what they're doing right now. In these social media platforms. In this new what I'm calling uh, digital dark age. Because it's basically what it is. The more you think about it, and the more you understand how the what the mindset was in the dark ages, you know? Um, despite the fact we live in this, you know, technological, high-tech age, information age, you know, the mindset hasn't really changed all that much when you really compare the line of thinking, especially when it comes to the context of like this, uh, The tree making that sound, I think. Trees leaning up against another and it's rubbing. That's where all that sound is coming from. So yeah, the, the Dark Age mindset hasn't really changed all that much. And they're trying to revive it more so now than ever as they you know, her, herd the world into this uh, global one world order. Because you have to have everybody on the same page. And you got to uh, bully and persecute basically anybody that doesn't play ball, that doesn't go along with your hmm, vision for utopia. I mean, they always paint it in such glowing terms, don't they? Yeah, right. Human nature hasn't changed at all. That's one thing. We can always count on men in power will always abuse their power and abuse others in the process and the rights of others. Check out this uh, burn area. This is that tree I was telling you about. It's kind of leaning on the other one. It's like rubbing up there. really loud. It's pretty neat. Don't hear that every day. Once again, it does have a unique beauty. It's uh, obviously not as beautiful as how it looks when it's still alive, but this aspen just snapped. Didn't have a chance. 
Didn't have a chance that one. <sighs> yeah, it used to be such a lush, lush, beautiful place down here. Little aspen grove with plenty of water. types of uh, natural herbs, wild herbs growing. The burn marks on this tree, this is kind of cool. As an artist, this is the kind of stuff that I get excited about. Nature's little patterns. Let's see if I can get close. Yeah, the battle hasn't changed that much, the spiritual battle. The characters on stage have changed over time. You know, the actors, the actresses. Um, men come and go, but... There's some sinkholes here. <laughs> it's not much to hold the soil anymore. Yeah, kings, um, people who assume to have absolute dominion on this earth, they come and go. And ultimately they don't, you know. It's, uh, it's all an illusion. Their kingly power, their earthly power, is nothing more than an illusion. And ultimately, as it says in the scriptures, every knee will bow to the one true king, right, in heaven. Literally, because all men die. We're all mortals. Some like to delude themselves to think they're not, but, uh, you know, like the saying goes, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. And uh, the more you have at stake in this world, I guess the harder it is to give it all up, which we all one day will. Check out this uh, view. Yeah, it's kind of a desolate beauty, I guess you could say. The shadows, it's all about the lights and darks. All that remains is a shadow. The once lush forest. Forest that once was. Of course, there's more of this cool stuff, the patterns, textures. The choice is pretty clear, and it's a choice that only we can make as individuals. And that's why these collectivists, control freaks, tyrants who masquerade as godly men, <sighs> dress in white, wear fish hats, sit up on their throne, try to dictate public policy, not to mention any names. Well, that's why they want to herd everybody into these, into this group, think, mindset, this herd mentality. 
they don't value personal choice ultimately they don't value freedom they don't value individuality because that is a threat to everything they stand for it's a threat to their power monopoly essentially and they are enemies of god and they have chosen their fate They're enemies of mankind and they're enemies of God. And they should be denounced for what they are. They should be called out. Anybody that claims you don't have the right to choose your own fate in life, as long as it doesn't do harm to others. <clears throat> That kind of thinking should never be tolerated. Not in this country, not in the Christian world at large. But unfortunately, many people have fallen back into that line of thinking because they, they see such a danger in their, you know, who they view as their enemy, who they perceive as their enemy, whether it's the right or the left, you know, this religion or that religion. Bird just swooped over my head. And so they have been, in a sense, groomed, I think, society as a whole, to think in a dark age mindset because who bono? Who does that benefit? But the tyrants. But the people who want to take control and dictate every aspect of our lives. You know. How many resources you can use? Um, how, many how much land can you own? You know, how much money do you get? How much travel can you do? How many kids can you have? That's one for China. It's probably soon to come here. Um, yeah, this is how control freak, control freak psychopaths operate. This is how they think. This is what gets them up in the morning. To control, exploit, manipulate, and see their fellow man as just resources. It's just numbers. You know. Pawns in their little game. That's not how God views human humanity. That's not how God views his creation. If it were so, then the gospel wouldn't have unfolded the way it it had and uh, he wouldn't have respected our free will choice which is what the cross is all about these ideas that you know the reformers latched onto as soon as their bibles became released in the common tongue they could actually understand the words of scripture again <laughs> these are the concepts that helped us shape modern civilization you know Western democracy, they call it. But it's a constitutional republic, and it was designed the way it was, with separations of powers for a reason. Because the founders of this nation learned from history, and they, they knew what to look out for. They knew what the true threat was. And the biggest threat is always government overreach, men who seek to seize power over other men's lives and abuse that power and infringe upon our free will choices, our liberty of conscience, our God-given from birth rights, not from government, not from man. We are born with certain rights. These are the principles that we need to uplift more than ever right now because they are quickly 
daily, by the minute, being eroded right now. And there's a big push right now for globalism, for a new tyranny, for a new dark ages, on a global scale. And that's what's, unfortunately, it has been prophesied. Fortunately, I guess, it has been prophesied. <clears throat> there will be a one world government and there will be a mark of the beast that will infringe upon your liberty of conscience, your ability, your choice, free will choice to worship the way you want to worship. That's what it really comes down to. It comes down to worship. And that's clear from Revelations. It forces all to worship the beast and his image. So these are very important topics, and unfortunately, even in the, in the churches, even in the Christian world, they are completely being overlooked right now. And the real spiritual war that's being waged is completely overlooked. They're not even connecting the dots. They don't even see how this applies to the big picture. And it's always about long-term thinking with these people who control the world or assume to rule over the world. There's a mastermind behind all this. And it's that same old serpent who egged on the crowds to crucify Christ. And history will repeat. God's people will see a similar fate. Christ followers in essence will follow in his footsteps and there will be a repeat on the global body of Christ his true followers the ones that stay true to the law and the testimony um, yeah unfortunately there are dark days ahead and for Christians that just want to think on the positive you know and pass on positive Bible verses and never look at the bad, never look at the prophecies in scripture, never look at what's ahead. I think a lot of those people will be in for a surprise. We have a reality check right now and the wheat and the tares are being separated like never before. And pretty soon there will be only two sides. I mean, now there's a lot of polarity between the parties and these different issues like the uh, to vax or not to vax or mask or not to mask or red or blue this or that but ultimately it will come down to who will you serve man and this global tyrannical system that seeks to infringe upon your free will choice to worship as you see fit who you see fit to worship. It'll be between that system or the one true God who says, keep my Sabbath, do unto others, you know, don't have graven images, don't steal honor and respect your parents. Do not covet. The hardest thing is worship God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And if you do that, if you start with the first, that first principle, all the rest should follow. And he will guide you into all truth. His Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. Not just the surface level, like I call it, cookie cutter Christianity, the cliche, soundbite version of worship. He'll guide you in the full truth on all these issues and how they pertain to eternal life. <clears throat> God bless everybody. Thanks for watching. I got to get back. I'm freezing. It's cold out here. But uh, yeah, this is why I love just walking alone through nature sometimes. So many thoughts come to you. You have that moment to just free your mind, to clear your mind from the clutter, the media. The media right now is such a huge influencer on our thought processes, and it's a danger. And I know a lot of people that they're under that spell, and it is a spell. It is 
mind control. You know, that's how it's designed. Admittedly, they are controlling your thought processes. They're creating your appetites, your opinions, you know, your loves, your hates. A consensus, right? A public consensus. And what's the easiest way to control people is through fear. And that's why everything is fear-based right now. You know, all false religion is based on fear. He has not given us a spirit of fear, he says. And that's how I choose to live. That's a liberating and a free way to, to live your life. Because <clears throat> without that hope in a loving creator that has foretold all these things from advance so we know that he is true and uh, has given us the promise that he will recreate us no matter what happens to our bodies in this life. He has the power to recreate us and recreate this entire world, you know. <clears throat> Other than that, there's just a fearful looking forward to the judgment. I mean, that's what it says in the scripture. And that's a, a fearful thought. So choose ye this day who you will serve. I've made my choice and I, I pray that God keeps me on the right track because at any moment we can make that free will choice to walk away from the light that he's given us. God bless. We'll see you. Ultimately, shadows, aren't we? Our lives. Fleeting shadows. We perform on the world stage for just a moment. our actions the good that we do in this life can echo for eternity can't consequences of our actions can affect countless lives yet how many how few Take the responsibility seriously. What it means to be human. What it means to have choice, free choice. Liberty of conscience, right? Like the reformers made such a big deal about.
without freedom of conscience, uh, freedom of choice, free will, we would be just like robots programmed. No, our lives just an act. We have a choice which course you want to take in life. Who do we want to serve, right? Do we want to serve ourselves? Do we just want to get what we can get out of this life? Regardless of the consequences. How those choices might impact others. Not only in this life, but potentially. If you believe in such things, life after this life. That's a sobering thought to think. Every one of our choices has possibly eternal consequences. Makes us think a little more cautiously, you know, like uh, big picture thinking. Ultimately, we return to the earth from whence we came, right? From the dust and back into the dust. Our lives are like shadows. Brief, fleeting, only lit for a short while. Time is one of those things that it's definitely in short supply. Spend so many hours working for things that are temporal, ultimately meaningless in the big picture. Things that rust, decay. And time is something we can never purchase. Not through earthly means, anyway. Not through fiat currency. Not through any currency of this world. Not by your salvation. But you can believe in a God that created you. Created this infinitely complex world and cares enough for it that We'll recreate it one day and populate it with people who have developed a character fitting of paradise. There won't be any there won't be any tyrants, there won't be any 
despots. They won't be the kind of people that exploit others for their own personal gain. There won't be any that exploit and abuse others, do harm to little children. They have all made their choices. Any time those people can change their course, but if they don't, before the fleeting light of day, and their lives, passed on, off the world stage. There will be no changing course. Their fate will have been sealed. They have turned their backs on the God of the universe and chose Obliteration, death, destruction, ultimately blotted out of existence. That's a fearful fate in my mind. Ultimately everything on this earth will be burned up. Even more so than these trees. There's still some carbon left in these trees. Still some elements. So great a fervent heat will destroy all the works of evil in this world that nothing will remain. Be a fresh start. Earth will be cleansed. And our Creator will rebuild what sin has corrupted. Recreate. We will if we choose. There will be a record in heaven, record of our choices, our actions, our characters, the book of life, it's called in the scripture. That's the one thing that we can take with us, is who we are who we've daily made the choice to become. Ultimately, who we've chosen to serve. God of love, God of order, the just God. Or the temporary ruler of this world, the fallen one, the dragon serpent of old. Who only wants to distort, damage, destroy. God's original design of perfection. He wants to take as many with him as he can in that vain attempt to make a stand to wage war with the God of the universe. It's not really a hard choice if you think about it. You see past the lies and the deception. Choice is clear. Who 
who will you serve this day? Choose ye this day. Why will you die, O Israel? Who wants to give us life? Choices before us, life or death. It's a choice only we can make. As free will agents. Who will we serve? Through our actions, the way we treat others, the way we spend our time. It's the biggest question we have as human beings. It's a question I think we should answer. Before the lights go out. And our shadows pass from the world stage.